Let's do this. Okay. We're recording this shit. All right. So, like, instead of giving you the Katana 10-minute guide or any kind of neutral fundamentals, footsies, fighting game terminology, vocabulary, instead of doing none of that shit, okay, what you guys want is clickbait, right? You just want clickbait. So here's the deal. Okay, Mortal Kombat 11 sucks because sometimes when they don't have life, they get a fatal blow. And that shit's stupid and it's dumb and you shouldn't be able to do that. Sometimes when I knock you down, like, you have more moves than me. And so, like, I knocked you down, but you have an advantage. And, like, I could lose if I don't play uh, smart. So, like, instead of playing smart and, like, learning how to get good, what we're going to do now is we're going to complain about the wake-up system and bitch about it. Because, like, at the end of the day, they only have, like, four moves out of it, and all four of those moves have a counter. And if I can read that counter, I can blow you up for big guaranteed damage because half of those moves that you use out of Wake Up use your bar so you can't break away. So there is counterplay to it, but we're not going to counterplay the Wake Up option. Instead of me making a video telling you how to deal with Wake Up and outthink your opponent, instead what we're going to do is we're going to say, Fuck you, Ed Boone. For adding this stupid fucking wake up system. We're going to say fuck you Paula. Paulo. Because you put the wake up. You put fatal blow in the game. We're going to say fuck you Stephanie Brown back. Even though you have nothing to do with any of this. All you do is make sure that the menus and the fucking bugs are gone. But you know what? Fuck you Stephanie Brown back. Because flawless block exists in the game. And I can't just mash pokes when you're negative. I have to actually think about what I'm going to do and outplay you. And I'm not about that life. I'm about that YouTube clickbait life where I just bitch about the game and make videos about fucking Reptile being in Combat Pack 3. So we bitched about Fatal Blow. We bitched about Wake Ups. We bitched about the Flaws Blow. Oh, Jackie Briggs is a character in the game. I don't fucking like Jackie Briggs. So what we need to do is instead of coming up with a, a video on tech on how to uh, anti-air Jackie, what we're going to do now is we're going to say... Fuck Jackie Briggs, fuck Paulo, fuck Tyler Lansdowne because he fucking likes Jackie Briggs or some shit. Like, fuck Tom Brady because he keeps making videos about how to beat Jackie and Tom Brady's a fucking idiot. Instead, what we should be doing is me and Tom Brady should get together and talk about why is Havoc not in Mortal Kombat 11? We should talk about that. Because at the end of the day, Havoc getting added to Mortal Kombat 11 is what's going to make people actually get good at fighting games and grow our scene. Not the pattern of, like, practice and learn shit and outthink and work on your execution and decision making. What's going to get you good is if they just add the character you like. All this time, you're sitting here looking at the character select screen. There's, like, 50 fucking characters, but they don't have the one that you like. And that's what's holding you back. That's why you're not good. Is because you can't play as Reptile or Havoc or whatever the fuck, right? Look what happened with Melina. Everybody was like, yo, if they add Melina to the game, I'm going to get so good with Melina. And then I'm going to blow everybody up. And look what's happening. You go to Outworld Television. You go to Pro Comp. Melinas are just dominating everything. Netherrealm knew. They knew if they added Molina to the game, all the people that are fans of Molina will actually take the game serious and get good, and then everyone's just going to die to Molina. And as we have seen, clearly, clearly everyone dies playing Molina. I mean, everyone dies when they pick Ma or Everyone dies against Molina, right? They just they get the grab and the forward one, all of that shit. Molina just tears people up. So that's the thing is instead of making these guides and these tutorials where I teach you guys how to get better and explain fundamentals and stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what character they need to add so I can get good. Now, honestly, all of this shit that I've done, all these characters I play, it doesn't matter. They don't have fucking uh, meat in the game, and I think if they added meat, I would actually get really, really good. So let's strategize. Instead of strategizing how to beat characters at the game and saying, you know, they're negative this or they're plus on that, let's strategize how we're going to get meat into the game, guys. How are we going to do that? Because that's the path to fucking tournament victory is if we can get meat in the game because I'm going to be so OP with meat, dude. He's like a, a meaty, beefy skeleton dude with bones and fucking muscles and shit, right? I'm going to wreck everybody. But I can't wreck everybody till they add him to the game, right? I could practice and, like, come up with strategies 
But like, honestly, if they added meat, I wouldn't have to do that. So instead, I'm going to wait for meat instead. And then when they add him to the game, we're good. So what characters do you guys want them to add to the game so that you can be good instead of having to fucking practice this game and learn fundamentals and, and, and things like that? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I really care what your opinion is. And if you uh, comment and share, we can do what we can to get Meat and Reptile and Havoc and fucking Su Hao and Li Mei in the game. And then we'll never have to practice again. We'll never have to worry about anything. Also, fuck Ed Boon because he's a fucking idiot. He didn't even put Havoc in the game. All he does is add fatal blows. He's such a fucking moron. I hate Ed Boon. I hate Mortal Kombat. All of this is stupid. Mortal Kombat's just a scrubby-ass game anyways, right? Only fucking idiots play this stupid game with no combos, right? Oh, lol, no combos. Let me go play fucking Tekken and do a combo. Like, lol, no neutral. Let me go play Street Fighter and get a neutral, right? So instead of playing this game, what we should be doing is talking about how bad this game is. How awful Mortal Kombat is and anyone who likes it or plays it is either an awful person or they're paid by NetherRealm, right? They're probably paid by NetherRealm. NetherRealm actually cuts me a huge fucking check, right? It's big. It's so big I can't even cash it at my bank. They refuse to accept the check. That's how big it is, right? I'm like rolling in NetherRealm show money. You guys have no fucking clue, right? But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shit on NetherRealm and complain but ask for DLC characters instead of like do matches with my friends and get good. Because that's not the secret. That's not how Sonic Fox got good. Sonic Fox was like really bad at this game. Terrible. Awful at this game. And then they added Joker as DLC, right? You saw it. You saw it. It's true facts. This shit was on camera. They added Joker at DLC. And Sonic Fox said, I feel so comfortable with this character. This is the character I've needed all along. And then Sonic Fox wins evolution of the world. I saw it. I was there. I, I did fucking restream commentary when Sonic Fox won Evolution of 2020 the, of the world with Joker. And it was because Joker was the character that he wanted. It had nothing to do with Sonic Fox like practicing or knowing fundamentals or newts. That shit's dumb. Okay. That's what he tells you. That's what Sonic tells you to fuck with you. But really, Sonic Fox knew that the only way Sonic Fox was going to win Evolution Pro, 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 Pro Comp Tour of the 2000s was if they added Joker, and then they did, and then Sonic won. So I'm just saying they need to add meat so that I could be good and also stop, fuck Stephanie Brown back because she won't add meat, and all she does is add fucking no combos and zoning and, like, wake-up buttons. That's it. That's all Stephanie Brownback did was she made it so that I could do wake up buttons when you knock me down. So fuck her and fuck this game and fuck anybody that plays it and fuck anybody that creates content for it. And fuck me because I'm still here talking to you assholes. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and eat my ass.